Racist NFL players about to revolt after seeing what pissed referees have planned for their nasty protest with the national anthem protest sweeping the nation, many of us are left wondering what we can do to help. Since the inflammatory protest started in the NFL, many have boycotted each and every game, and the league has gotten the message. The NFL has sustained substantial losses in revenue due to patriotic Americans who took a stand and said they wouldn't tolerate kneelers. Unfortunately, the protest has spread, not just to other professional sports, but all the way down to high school. These players who no doubt want to emulate the professional football players in every way possible have decided to do so when it comes to the national anthem. The players of several teams across the nation have started doing what their heroes do, and kneeling during the anthem. This is disturbing on many levels, but most importantly, it makes us wonder what is being taught in those schools. Because of the rights that everyone is insisting be shown to sports players, these soon-to-be adults are glorifying the disrespect for our nation and getting slapped on the back for doing it. While some people are ready to hand out prizes for the social justice warriors in training, one father and son duo weren't having it. According to right-wing news, Ernie Lunardelli and his son Anthony were enlisted to referee for a high school football game when they were shocked to see the juvenile players kneeling for the anthem. This dad and his son had too much respect to put up with that, they stood for the anthem with hands over their hearts, and then peacefully left. Two referees at a high school football game in New Jersey, a father and a son, walked off the field when the students took a knee during the playing of the national anthem. Ernie Lunardelli and his son, Anthony, stood for the national anthem with their hands over their hearts. They left the field as soon as the song ended because members of Monroe Township High School team took a knee instead of standing for the national anthem. It's the principle of the thing. Both Lunardella said they felt that the act of kneeling during the anthem was a sign of disrespect for the country, the flag, and our soldiers. I could not agree more. Anybody that disrespects the flag, in my eyes, it's not right, the father said. What they are doing with this kneeling and everything, they have the right due to that, but the national anthem has nothing to do with them kneeling. The flag has got nothing to do with why they are protesting. If they want to protest, let them protest, but don't disrespect our country, the flag, and the armed forces. They've got a right to protest and so do we, the son added. He is a graduate of Monroe High School. That, taking a knee during the anthem, is not how I was brought up, and that's not how I was raised. I'm not criticizing their right. That's just my viewpoint. Both of the Lunar Dulles men warned the schools ahead of time that they would not officiate if any players took a knee during the anthem. They were good to their word. Nice to see real men take a stand school officials planned retaliation against them and have filed a complaint with the New Jersey State Interscholastic Athletic Association. It would seem the school is supportive of militant racism and protesting anything American, but not of Americans who protest the wrongness of those actions. I have a word for that, hypocrisy. They are trying to get them to not give us any more games, basically saying we put the players' safety in danger, but we didn't, Anthony Lunardelli said. They obviously had enough officials to do the game. I'm not really worried about being sanctioned. If I don't ref again, it won't be the end of the world. Greater Middlesex Conference Football Committee Chairman Ben Lasalle said the matter would be discussed at an upcoming meeting. Neither Lasalle nor NJSHA coordinator of football officials Carmine Picarda would speculate about what actions, if any, would be taken against the father and son referees. Of course not, they want to blindside them and make an example of the father, son duo. Ernie Lunardelli said he already received a letter relieving him of his spot officiating at the next game. I think that pretty much says it all. Already progressives and other leftists are calling for the duo to never officiate another game and since it is New Jersey, they'll probably get their way. It's a bloody shame and it shows what a sad state our nation is in currently. I for one applaud these men and I'm proud of them. It's not always easy to do what is right 
but they did it. The same can't be said for the sorry excuse of a school. Sometimes it costs us to do the right thing, but doing the right thing is its own reward in the end. These two might have lost future refereeing jobs, but standing up for what is right will always pay off in the end. And if nothing else, the two of them can stand up and speak their mind about the national anthem protest with authority, knowing that they put their money where their mouth is. They did the right thing, now it's up to the rest of us. Share if you support officials who stand up for the flag.